trailer was, uh, at least some of it, was shot up at uh, Golden Oak Ranch, which is just north of town here a little ways. And this is the Oak of the Golden Dream for which the ranch was named. Legend has it that in 1842, Don Francisco Lopez fell asleep beneath this tree, dreamt about gold, woke up hungry, pulled up a wild onion, and around the roots found flakes of gold. And he went and filed a claim there, and it's the first place that gold was discovered in Southern California, and that's why it's called the Golden Oak Ranch, right at the foot of this oak. It's about, oh, 50 miles or so um, north of um, Burbank, the home studio. Very remote, very isolated, not a dwelling, not a anything. It was just wild country. I remember when they would take us on location, it just seemed like hours and hours <laughs> to get there. You know that old joke about kids always saying, are we there yet? <laughs> That's what I always felt like saying, because it just seemed like we would drive for hours and hours before we could get there. Like something from Texas or the plains of the Southwest, oak trees and rolling hills, and it's very picturesque. And, uh, it's interesting, wild birds and jackrabbits and tarantulas and lizards and things like that. We call this the Big West Meadow. This is the largest green area on the Golden Oak Ranch. It's an irrigated area. We're green year-round in here. You'll remember from the film Old Yeller, Arliss, when he was riding Old Yeller, rode through this meadow right here. The grass was a little taller at that time. The pine trees were three and a half foot tall, where today they're hitting 40 to 50, 60 feet. The movie Independence Day had the White House built right over here. Wild Wild West had the Loveless Mansion and the Tobacco Warehouse constructed right over here. Because of our year-round green, we see a lot of films, especially in the wintertime and the summertime. Southern California isn't noted for its green in the summer. We irrigate somewhere to the tune of a million gallons a day in the summertime to keep this ranch green. We are the busiest movie ranch in LA County, shooting about 180 paid days of filming a year, and that doesn't include construction and demolition of the sets. This knoll is where we see Arliss and Old Jeller several times in the movie. Not long shots, but we see Old Jeller and Arliss running down this slope. This area now is known as Pee Wee's Knoll. Pee Wee's Barn and Pee Wee's House from the movies Pee Wee's Big Top Adventures was shot in this neighborhood. I think the, the, probably the most amusing thing was whenever we'd uh, take a break for lunch, whenever they'd serve beef, the Yellow Jackets would come and start to strip the meat off, much to the dismay of many who were quite hungry after a long morning's work. For terrain, uh, the Golden Oaks uh, was fine because we have a, a little bit of everything. The lake and covered bridge are located at approximately the center of the ranch. The lake was constructed in 1960 at Walt's direction. Westerns being big at this time, the lower lake was only made about two and a half feet deep so that horses could trudge through about waist high deep in water. The upper lake is about five and a half foot deep to allow horses to swim through it. The covered bridge was built in 1962 for an episode of Bonanza, covered in 64 for a cigarette commercial and was used in the Disney feature Follow Me Boys. There was a little pier and you could go canoeing and it was really a neat place. We used to go out and spend weekends there with our kids way back when. The cabin behind me was built for the Disney feature Camp Nowhere. The lake can be drained in eight hours and refilled in approximately 48 hours to allow for construction within the bed of the lake. The lake comes complete with a waterfall, a babbling brook, and is a living system complete with bass, catfish, and red-eared perch. Walt used to love to go out there. There's a, a guest house on the ranch, and he would go out a lot of times on the weekends, and he would do his homework and his thinking where he could kind of have a little solitude. He enjoyed it. This area is known as the meadow north of the lake where the family's cabin was. It was located below these mountains here. You'd see these mountains in the background uh, behind the cabin. This is now called the Life Compound. These are the structures left over from the filming of the movie Life with Eddie Murphy. This area separates the ranch from the portion of the ranch that falls within the National Forest. There are about 300 to 400 acres of the ranch that fall within National Forest. There's a lot of wildlife on the property. Deer, bobcat, mountain lion, we've even seen bear. It's rumored that some of the rabbits running around are rabbits left over from the filming of Old Yeller. 
There's a swimming pool out there that I learned to swim in when I was very, very little because we were going to do a swim meet in the old Spin and Marty cereal that we did for the Mickey Mouse Club. And at the time, I didn't know how to swim. So Walt thought it would be a good idea if I learned how to swim. And so they took me in the swimming pool and I learned how to swim over a period of time. I remember at one point, Walt bought a bunch of buffalo to turn loose out there because we were doing a lot of Westerns at the time. And they'd been going a little nuts in the truck, the driver said and uh, they backed the truck up to the, this corral that they had, opened the gate, and they, the way the ranch manager described it to me, the buffalo came down the ramp, went across the corral, apparently never even noticed there was a fence there because they just hit it and it went into splinters, and they vanished into the hills. That whole thing took about, apparently, about 30 seconds. And they'd show up every now and then in a shot, you know, in, in one of our westerns. The Walt had bought them because there was the, there was seven cows and a sterile bull. And when the cows started having calves, <laughs> he realized that the, that that uh, he'd been sold this deal under false pretenses. This authentic 1880s boomtown was actually constructed in 1978 for the filming of the miniseries Roots. Guns of Paradise made this home for three years, and it was also utilized in Pee-wee's Big Top Adventures, not to mention a host of commercials and other TV productions. The Golden Oak Ranch, located 26 minutes from the Walt Disney Studios in Burbank, has a versatility well known throughout the industry. Our isolated location, the fact that we're down between the canyons, and our abundant water supplies make several areas of the ranch ideal for testing special effects. The ability to use full charge ammunition without disturbing neighbors while they try to sleep is a great asset to our ranch. The last remaining movie ranch in LA County, the Golden Oak Ranch, is used by a variety of different production companies. Disney, having utilized this ranch since 1957, filmed such features as Old Yeller, Toby Tyler, Pollyanna, The Absent-Minded Professor, The Parent Trap, Big Red, Son of Flubber, The Monkey's Uncle, Follow Me Boys, and Blackbeard's Ghost. Television series and shows included Zorro, Swamp Fox, and Daniel Boone. 